So if you listen to our last episode, you know we talked about the Panthers schedule and how we think things will shake out as we all picked our records for the upcoming season. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my five most important games I think the Panthers will play this season. You're listening to Money in the Bank. Let me start by saying this. These games are not listed in terms of their importance on the schedule, but they're just listed in how they fall week to week. So with that being said, the first game on my list is against the Atlanta Falcons week one in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I can't think of a better way for the Panthers to start the Frank Reich era than by getting a win against a hated division rival such as Atlanta. And for Atlanta, I gotta think they're looking to do the same thing with their young quarterback Desmond Ritter getting a great victory to start their season off in hopes to try to make the playoffs as well. Now, this is the thing about this game. It's gonna be tough. Atlanta is trusting for Desmond Ritter, which has been a surprise to a good bit of NFL fans such as myself, but they've done a great job of revamping that defense, adding guys like Jesse Bates and Calais Campbell, guys that are going to be impact guys early on for them defensively. And us bringing in a rookie quarterback who I think will be starting in week one, having to have him face that type of defense in his first start. It's a nice test for sure. It's a nice test for sure. But if you get a win like that, here's the thing. The season doesn't end if you lose your season open. You have 16 more games to prove that you are still a good NFL team, that you have a chance to make the playoffs. But a fast start would be great for team morale, fan morale, player morale, every, every every bit of morale you can get, you want to try to get it if you're the Carolina Panthers at this point. Uh, we're, we have a coaching staff that we trust. We have, a, we have a team that we like more than the one we had the previous year. Getting a win in week one against a division rival will be a great way to start things off and hope that you can carry that momentum throughout the rest of the season. The second game on my list is against the Seattle Seahawks in week three on the road. So another tough road game to start the year off, of course, in, your, in two of your first three weeks. This one against a group that I think is competing for their division. I think highly of Seattle. I think Seattle by the end of the year will be one of the top teams in the NFC and they'll be competing for, I think, I'd say probably the two or three seed in the playoffs this year. Um, and you talk about the NFC West, you talk about a division that is, that obviously has San Francisco in it, but they have questions at quarterback right now. One, due to injury, and two, due to we, we are not exactly sure that any of the guys on their roster could play a full 17 games, healthy and playing well at the same time. That we do not know as of yet. But Seattle's a team right now that's competing for that. They're competing to be one of the best in the NFC South. Not NFC South, but in the NFC West. And have a chance to possibly put the ticket to a Super Bowl. They have a quarterback right now that's looking to prove a lot to a lot more people. I know, you know, players will tell you every every time that they're not looking to prove anything. After the year he had and able to, being able to get paid, I think the biggest thing for Geno Smith will be trying to compound that with more success. But adding weapons such as Jackson Smith and Jigba to go along with DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, boy, I think is a great way to start that journey off. And having Tariq Willen on the other side, who was one of the best young corners in the game last year, he'll be looking to compound his success last year with more success this year. And we're taking our, I mean, our defense will be tested. Our defense more so than anything else will be tested in this game because, yeah, you had a great performance last year. They went out and got better. They went out and added pieces. This is a game where J.C. Horn will have his will have his play full. Our defensive line will have their play full. Can you get to the quarterback? Everybody will be tested in this game, and it's a great test early on for a young team. The third game on my list is Week Five against the Detroit Lions. Detroit is a team that had a lot of buzz last year because of what they were able to accomplish. They've been a team that's competed well since Dan Campbell was taken over as the head coach. And I got to think that this is the most excited they've been about one of their teams since the Calvin Johnson and Matthew Stafford era. They're competitive. They're young. They're exciting to watch. They're a team right now that in an NFC North that has no Aaron Rodgers running the helm at, at, at this point. They got to believe that they have a great shot at winning that division. This would be the year to do so if you're Detroit. And I got to think that for Carolina also being on the road, this is a tough matchup, man. This is a team that you did dominate last year. But again, the story is different. It's a new year, new season, new script being written now as we speak. 
You know what I'm saying? So last year's pro, you know, last year's team that did what they did, this isn't the same group. You're gonna have to come out and again dominate. And I look at your defense again as and I look to them and say, Can you dominate? I look to look to your offensive line. Aiden Hutchinson will have another year. Well, we'll have a we'll have, we'll have a year under his belt. James Houston will have a year under his belt that uh, they also helped that defense out last year as well. Adding a guy like Jameer Gibbs from Alabama, they added some young pieces that, you know, can help them immediately, especially with, with a guy like Jack Camel on the defensive side of the ball. They're a team that I'm intrigued by, to say the least. And they're a team that, much like us, I think we'll all be competing at the end of the year for playoff spots. And I think this is a game that's going to be pivotal in that race. Four on my list is against the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field on November 9th. This is a Thursday night game, so coming off of a short week, I think going all the way to the Midwest to play in Chicago, where at that point at that point in time of the season, there may be some inclement weather. I'm not quite sure. But taking a young quarterback on the road, short week, against a team that I think will be better, against a team that I think will also be competing for their division, obviously against Detroit, a team that, another team that we played this year. They're going to, they're going, Chicago is going to be better. I just think they have to be better. I think about the amount of games they lost last year that were close, tightly contested, and they lost a bunch of them in that type of fashion, right? They seem like a team that's going to turn it around this year. They got their quarterback a weapon, a weapon that we are all very familiar with, of course, in DJ Moore. A guy that I think helps take the, I think that can only take Justin Fields' game to the next level. I think he'll be a better quarterback because he has a better weapon. And because he has better weapons in, in, in general this year coming into the season. For us, this will be a great test. I think these, these are the games right here that, whether you think much about Chicago or not, this is a game right here that could very well be a trap game. If you think you're the better team, then you go on the road and you get a win on a short week, which will be huge considering who you play the following week. And that is where we'll get into this thing next. The fifth and the final game on my list is against the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas is a team that I know people love to joke about Dallas's lack of playoff success. But the one thing I won't do is, la is laugh about how the good they've been in the regular season under Mike McCarthy. This is a team that I think if you beat them, because they'll also be a team competing for that division against Philadelphia, who's also lost a lot of talent. So they'll have a chance to win that division. I think if you beat Dallas at this juncture in the season and you start looking at it, you start just taking a taking a gander. This game is this game is at home. Pivotal home game. I think. This will have, I think. I got this game having a playoff kind of feel to it. Because if you understand the area, there's a lot of Dallas fans in the area. Obviously, if you're the Panthers, if you're having a good season to this point, this will be a highly contested match. And people will want to see this game. This game will have a lot of hit. It will have a lot of hits. There will be a lot of toughness that will have to be displayed in order to win this type of game. And it's pivotal. I think it's absolutely pivotal to see if you're in that upper echelon of NFC team. You get a game like that, you have tests each and every week. This is a game right here that I think tells me whether you're ready to be in that upper echelon of the NFC, because no matter how you feel about it, I know Dallas doesn't have the necessarily the success that you would think a team that would be in this tier would have. They're a team that you have to get through. You're gonna have to see them. They're gonna play, they're gonna play good football, no matter how you feel about it. Getting a win over this team would be the stamp on the Panther season that would tell me that we're going to be a playoff group. Now, I'll be honest. In our season review or season predictions, I didn't pick us winning this football game. But if we were able to pull it off, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit for Frank Wright's first year as the Carolina Panthers head coach. But that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you've made it thus far, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, follow us on Instagram at P1N underscore network. Follow us on Twitter at P1N underscore network. I'm your host, Shanti Stewart, and I'm out.